Welcome back. A great exhibition or exhibit rather taking place at the Kamloops Old Courthouse coming up starting on January the 11th. It's called Visual Journeys and there's a uh, collection of artists that are contributing to this exhibit. Ed Jensen is one of them. Welcome to the show. Hi, thank you. Yes, I interviewed Ed down at uh, Riverside Park for what I believe was the Bicentennial. Yes. Uh, so it's great to see you again. Oh, good to see you yeah. too. Yeah. Uh, tell me about your artwork. First of all, you're one of the person, uh, the artists that is involved in this, but what kind of artwork do you do? Um, I'm I'm a traditional artisan, so I do a lot of flint napping, bow making, uh, uh, that sort of thing. Uh, traditional tool uh, recreation and that kind of thing. Yeah. Okay, so this is one of them. I promise I won't drop it. Okay, perfect. I'm going to get Marcel to get us a close-up, but you'll have to tell me what it is that we're <coughs> looking at. Obviously, it's a salmon. Mm -hmm. um, and so how did you go about making this? And what is the significance of how you make things like this? Well, normally I work with uh, uh, basalt, uh, obsidian, chertz and agates and, and more natural materials. Mm -hmm. um, for this project, I uh, actually kind of fused glass together and uh, added a traditional twist to it by traditionally napping it. So basically taking flakes off the surface and uh, using a flaking technique to to actually get the texture and the pattern. So this is glass? Yes, it is. So you have to be very careful with where you put this around the house. Yes, I have for sure. kids. They'd smash this in a second. Yes. It's beautiful. Thank you. Uh, and so this is the sort of thing that is, is this your favorite type of art to do? Um, well, I, I actually like to, to diversify. I like doing all facets of sure. art, right? Like, I think that um, uh, mixing things up a little bit is, is you know, it, it, it develops creativity and yeah. that sort of thing. That is beautiful. We have a couple of other pictures we can show as well. Uh, the, so you do earrings? Yes, jewelry. Nice. Um, Let's see the next couple of ones. And is this a real knife or? Well, it's a recreation of a traditional knife. Yes. Uh, it's something that you could skin a moose with if you wanted to. Okay. Uh, and then the last one. Yeah, so a little bit of leather work. What is in the leather work? What is that? Is that a... That's a knife. That is a knife? Yeah. Oh, fantastic. Just a little guy. Good. Uh, I love your stuff. And how many different people will be making up this? Like, you, you will be there, but there's different... Uh... Yes, there's 15 of us in the okay. co-op. Yeah. Um, so we've, we've all got different uh, disciplines. Sure. You know, there's watercolors, weavers, potters, uh, photography, uh, more glass, a lot of jewelry, mm -hmm. uh, a lot of different... Uh, things to see. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be an interesting show. We're uh, celebrating our 10th year as a, a co-op in, in the gallery or in the uh, old courthouse. Yes. So um, we'd like to just celebrate with the, the surrounding community, you know, yeah. our birthday and, and uh, you know, I will have uh, pieces for sale available for sale at the show. Um, yeah, come on down and uh, you know, have a look at the, the great talent mm -hmm. that we have in the area. It's a great place to be able to have for locals to showcase their talent. Otherwise, it's hard to show the community what uh, what we have to offer here locally. So I think it's a great, uh, great way to showcase. Uh, and this exhibit, again, runs from January 11th through until the 21st, I believe. Yes. Uh, and people can come down and check it out. If you're interested in buying pieces, of course, the artist wouldn't mind that either. Yes, exactly. Awesome. Ed yeah. Jensen, thank you for being here today. Thank you. Uh, quick break. When we come back, uh, more midday to come. Stay with us.